Doctor, how's my mother doing? Is she alright? Alex, she's sick and very weak. She needs to be admitted in a hospital and need additional medical care. What food did she have left? The last food she had was yesterday. What? She hasn't had food today? She's weak and needs nutrition. Doctor, I have not had a job for three months, and I've been looking for one for three months. And I have no money. Oh, I am so sorry, Alex. I hope you get a job soon. But take care of your mother and meet her immediately. And here's your prescription. Okay, doctor. I'll get the medicines. Alex, don't worry about my fees. You take care of your mother first. Okay, thank you, doctor. Alex, no, I'm so sorry at this old age. I'm giving you a lot of trouble. No, Mom. I'm the one that's giving you trouble by not taking care of you. And this is all because of my job loss. Don't worry, Alex. The Psalms 165 says, The Lord is gracious and righteous. He is full of compassion. Don't worry. He will surely help you find a job. Okay, Mom. Now let me go and borrow some money from my friends. Okay, sir. Now let me go to my friend Jessica's house. Surely she'll give me some money. I need a job. Hi, Alex. Hi, Jessica. How are you doing? I'm good. Did you find a job yet? No, did you? No, not yet. Well, I'm here because I need some money for my mom's. My mom is very sick right now, and I need some money. Can you please buy me a ball or something? No, I'm sorry, Alex. I know very well we both got laid off our jobs at the same time, and I've been looking for a job for the past eight months. I even sold my own car to get some money. Okay, Jessica, that's fine. Hope you find a job soon. You too. Bye, Jessica. Now let me go to my friend Arvin's house. Maybe she'll give me some money. Hi, Arvin, how are you doing? Good, how are you, Alex? I'm doing good. And then, um, could you, I, I, could you do me a favor? I really need some money right now. And I've lost my job. And I really need some money from my mom's medical bills. Could you please give Lend me some money. I'm sorry, I can't. You know, I have to pay my rent and I barely have any money left to feed myself. Okay, that's fine, Arpana. See you soon. Bye. Now let me go to my Aunt Rachel's house. Maybe she'll give me some money. Hi, Alex. How are you? Hi, Ra Hi Aunt Rachel. I'm doing very well. How's your family? My family's good. Oh, wow. And I'm here, um, could you do me a favor? I really need some money right now. My mom is very sick. Could you please lend me some money? I'm sorry, Alex. I don't have much money because I have to pay for my son's college fees. Oh, that's fine, Aunt Rachel. Bye. 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 Hello, sir. Welcome to Green Mansion. What would you like to have today? Can I please have the menu? Yeah. yeah. I would like two lo mein noodles. Two lo mein noodles? Orange chicken. Orange chicken. Spicy wings with barbecue sauce. Spicy wings with barbecue sauce. Pepper shrimp fry. Pepper shrimp fry. And two sodas. And two sodas. Is that it? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back with the food. Here you go, sir. How much do I have to pay? $100, $135. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot one more order. Can I have steamed broccoli and kung pao chicken? Okay, I'll be right back with the order. Hello, Aunt Andy. How are you? I heard from the church members that you were sick, so I thought I should stop by to pray for you. I'm good, Pastor. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully your prayers will heal you. What happened? Why are you in a hurry? Why don't we hear the police siren? Are you 
want to look at him? Sorry, Pastor. I have sinned. And I have stole this money. I have stole this food. What? What have you stole? I stole this food from his restaurant. And please forgive me, Pastor. It's because I stole this food from this restaurant because I have no money and I've been looking for a job for three months. Do you think this is a good reason to steal? It is written in the Bible not to steal. It is an important commandment, Alex. Oh, I'm very sorry, Pastor. Please forgive me. Who am I to forgive? Ask forgiveness from the Lord and He will forgive you. Pastor, this is my only option. Let me call a Bible portion on how Jesus Christ on how Jesus Christ did not fall into temptation. Uh, Andy, can you please open the Bible to Matthew chapter 4, verses 2 through 4? Yes, Pastor. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. But Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alex, did you see? Even though Jesus was fasting for 40 days, when Satan asked him to turn the stone into bread, he did not. Jesus didn't fall into it all to temptation because he was strong with the word of the Lord. So I advise you, when you go into temptation, stay strong with the word of God. Let's pray. Pastor. <coughs> Heavenly Father, please forgive me for all my sins, Lord. Heavenly Father, please help me to return this food and let me get a job soon. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we also pray for Alex's job. We pray that you would get him a job and you'd give him money to feed his mom and for his to feed his family. Proverbs 23 1 says, It is better to do what is just and right than to give the Lord's sacrifice. We pray that you help Alex do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Um. Hi, sir. I stole some food from this restaurant earlier. I'm here to return it. Master, Master, it's the person who stole the food. Let's call the cops. No, stop. Don't call the cops. Sir, I like your I like your honesty. Oh. Thank you so much, sir. The only reason I stole this was because I, my mom was sick and I have no money. I'm a follower of the, um of Christ and I decided to live by his word and make choices that would please him. Proverbs twenty eight eighteen says, um, whose walk who, whose walks are blameless will be kept safe, but the one whose ways are perverse will fall into the pit. And you have made a great decision of walking blameless and not falling into the pit. May God bless you, and you may take this food to your sick mom. I don't want any money for this. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll surely pay you back once I get a job. Wait, you're looking for a job? Yes. I have an accountant position at my restaurant. Are you interested in it? Really? Yes, of course. Your job starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow, and here's $500 for advance. Oh, $500? Thank you so much, sir. You don't know how much this means to me. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> Mom, you know what just happened? I just got a job. Wow, Alex. And the, sto and the store owner just gave me $500 in advance. Alex, God has blessed you with his gracious gifts. Don't forget to give it back to him. Do you know the boy who gave the Lord five breads and two fishes? He multiplied it and gave it to many people. And there were 12 extra baskets of food. Just like that, give your gifts to God and he will surely multiply it. Surely, Mom. I'll give food to the homeless and the unemployed every week with the money that I earn. Awesome, beautiful, wonderful, awesome. Yeah.